agriculture can be classified into two types intensive subsistence agriculture and primitive subsistence agriculture let's see intensive subsistence agriculture first raghu farms on his small plot manually and thus he needs to expend a large amount of labor tending to his farm for a small area the yield is very high as the farmer utilizes the land to the maximum crops are generally produced for consumption by the family heavy machinery is generally not used in this kind of farming people living in densely populated regions practice intensive subsistence agriculture this type of agriculture is practiced mainly in south and southeast asia including china and india rice wheat millets oil seeds pulses are some of the crops cultivated now let's look at in detail primitive subsistence farming now primitive subsistence farming includes shifting cultivation or slash and burn farming and nomadic herding so first let's take a look at shifting cultivation for slash and burn cultivation a patch of land is identified in the forest the first step constitutes the trees in that patch of land being cut down the treeless patch of land is then set on fire now this releases rich nutrients into the soil making it fertile and suitable for agriculture the seeds are sown and the crops are harvested These crops usually include maize, yam, potatoes and cassava. Once the harvesting is done, the same patch of land is used again. This cycle goes on for a few years until the soil loses all of its nutrients. Once the soil loses its fertility completely, the piece of land is abandoned and a new piece of land is identified and we go through the whole process again this type of farming is practiced in the thickly forested areas of the amazon basin in brazil where it is called roca mexico where it is called milpa tropical africa and parts of southeast asia in india it is known as jhum cultivation and is practiced in the northeastern part of india as well as some regions of the chota nagpur plateau nowadays many countries have prohibited shifting cultivation as it is harmful to the environment and it leads to a loss of biodiversity another method of primitive subsistence farming is nomadic herding now nomads are people who travel from one place to another but why do they travel well this type of journey occurs due to changes in the climatic conditions and terrain if these become unfavorable the nomads have to move All right. Let's take a look at the Gujjar Bakarwals of Jammu and Kashmir region. Now the Gujjar Bakarwal are herders of goat and sheep. In the winter, mountain tops are covered with snow. Therefore, they stay in the low hills range. During summer time, when the snow melts, they migrate to high mountains which will provide pasture for their herds. thus in order to escape the harsh climatic conditions people move from one place to another this type of migration from one place to another is called nomadic herding sheep camels yak and goats are the animals which are usually reared by the nomads 
they provide the nomads with milk, meat, wool, hides and various other useful products. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.